Good day, folks. If you are looking for AI coding assistance, then you're in the right place. Today, we are going to be reviewing Ader, Cursor, AI, Claude, Div, and Klein. What we want to know is which one you should be using for your particular use case. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's dive straight in. All right, so you can see now we are in Ada. So um, Ada is a command line chat tool that connects your GitHub Copilot to your code base. So it uses natural language coding. This means you can chat with your AI assistant about pretty much anything in plain English. It also understands your entire project structure and delivers more relevant solutions. It automatically commits changes to your repository with meaningful um, commit messages. You can see over here, it is terminal based, so it works directly in your command line interface for seamless workflow integration. Um, it's compatible with Claude 3.7, DeepSeek, and OpenAI models, and it creates a comprehensive map of your project for context-aware assistance. This is great. The last thing here is um, it works with multiple languages. So if you're using Python, JavaScript, Rust, and even other popular languages, it really, really is fantastic. It works with all of those languages. You can um, automatically create meaningful Git commits um, after changes. And then also it has an IDE integration. So it works with editors through comment based interactions and it adds images and web pages to provide more visual references. The last thing that we're gonna have a look at here is the voice interaction so um, you can request features tests or even bug fixes using natural speech it has flexible integrations you can work with both api based as well as web interface language models it has auto testing capabilities and um, also it identifies and repairs issues detected by linters and tests this is really really great Okay, so looking at Cursor now, you can actually supercharge your coding workflow. Cursor AI is quite a powerful tool. It aims to transform your coding experience in a whole. It offers a wide range of intelligent features that are actually designed to boost your productivity and enhance your code quality. At the core of Cursor AI, it actually uh, has the ability to integrate seamlessly within a familiar coding environment. This also allows you as a developer to access advanced tools as well as functionality without disrupting um, your already established workflows. It also leverages the power of AI and provides intelligent code completion, smart code improvement suggestions, and other more advanced capabilities. These features, of course, work together to help develop um, uh, a cleaner, uh, more efficient code. Ultimately, it will streamline your coding process and your output will be of better quality. So whether you are an experienced programmer or you are just starting out your coding journey, Cursor AI does have the potential to elevate those coding skills and accelerate your project delivery. It's got a user-friendly interface and cutting edge technology. It is poised to become an invaluable asset in your coding toolkit. Right, so Claude has actually been around for quite a while. Um, Claude actually helps developers write better code faster. The AI assistant generates production quality code in multiple languages while explaining complex concepts uh, in a simple or more clearer format. The other things um, that they offer is their production level code. Um, it creates working solutions across multiple programming languages with impressive accuracy. They have error identification, which quickly spots bugs and explains the underlying issues within the um, error in plain language. It also has platform adaption. Um, it adapts code to different environments and frameworks with customized solutions. Okay, so let's jump into Klein now. So Klein is an open source AI coding assistant trusted by more than 36,000 developers worldwide. Its dual plan or dual act 
um, modes enable strategic coding automations with VS Code or Virtual Studio Code. The latest version is the 4.0 and it was released in April of 2025 with powerful enhancements. Having a look at some of the key features and some of the capabilities that it opens up to, it offers code generation. So autonomously generate and edit code with intelligent file management. Moving over to the right, it has terminal control. So it executes commands with secure um, permission systems. It has a human oversight on the bottom right hand side. You can see here it says approval systems ensure controlled automation. And the last thing here is web research. It browses the web for documentation as well as solutions. The last thing over here is the workflow benefit. So it handles complex tasks across large code bases with ease. It automates routine coding tasks to save your valuable time. It works within your existing VS Code environment, so it's really awesome that it's all in one place. And the plan mode helps think through complex development challenges. This is all fantastic. So there we go. With so many options available, it's often difficult to make a decision and um, stick to the decision. My advice always is to try all of your options, even if it is for a short amount of time, just to see what actually works for you with a more hands on approach and then make a decision thereafter. Just remember that we're all individuals and we all have individual needs. If this was really helpful, drop us a like and we'll see you next time.